Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how you could make bird toys for free. So for the first toy, you need a paper towel roll, some shredded paper that I made myself. You could always comment down below and ask for me to make a tutorial on how to make shredded paper. You need some scissors and some bird treats. So first you're going to flat flatten the paper towel and you're going to make little shapes and to make little holes and you could I'm going to make two one on the bottom and one on the top so um, my treats won't keep on falling out now we're going to put in the treat Okay, it's kind of sticking out from there. And then, uh, actually, I think I'm going to first stick in some, so it's gonna cover the bottom a little. And then we're going to put it in. Okay, and then put some on the top, so it's gonna cover the top. Okay. Add some from here. Add some from all holes, from all the holes that I have made, okay? I'm going to try to fill it up a lot, so it's going to be kind of more complicated for them to find. So it, it could take them for longer, and you could have more peace for longer. Okay? Now, I'm not doing this to, like, make my birds quiet. But, um, I just like making my birds toys. It both uh, makes me happy and my birds. So, we're going to get something like this. And let's go on to the next toy. Okay, so for the next toy, you still need some paper towel rolls. And you also need some treats. And just a tiny bit, like a tiny bit of um, shredded paper. So we're going to cut some pieces. So we're going to need four little pieces like this and start putting them together. Okay. Actually, I need, kind of need to puff them up like this so it will be more thick. Actually, I'm going to use this other piece too so it's going to be kind of better and more fun for the birds to play with. My birds are jumping all over the cage right now. They're like really playful right now. Okay. It's kind of hard to put these in. Okay, actually I'm going to leave out this much. We put this much in and then we're going to get little holes. And we could fit in some treats from those holes. So we're just gonna fit in some. Just fit some in the holes, like this. Take some and put them in all the holes. Some of the treats fell out, so put those back in. Like this. This is just like the last one, but it's kind of smaller. And then we're going to also put that. And then for the next toy, we need some paper towel and some scissors and some treats. So 
I'm going to cut a piece. Oh, and you also need yarn. I forgot to say that. So we're going to cut a little square piece like this. Okay. And then we're going to take like a bit of seeds and then just put them inside. Okay, and then we're going to kind of, now there's seeds inside this and just going to crumble it up and take a piece of yarn, a small piece of yarn, and then we're going to just, um, you're going to tie it up so it's um, going to be a bit more complicated and it's not going to be too messy. Okay, you could leave the piece of yarn out and they could also play with that. And they could just find the truth. I'm going to make two of it. So just another one. Okay. Okay. I don't want to put more treats because I also need them for the next toy. Okay. So we put about six pieces of little seed, seeds in there. They're like colorful seeds. And we're just going to crumble that up too. I mean, I got this little piece of millet, so I'm gonna put that in there too. Okay. Now we're going to crumble it. Then, okay. oh, that's too much. Okay, a little piece, and then we're going to tie it again. Okay, I'm going to tie one more knot. Okay, and then there we got another one. Okay, and then put that there too. Okay, now. We have two more toys. For this one, you need some paper. Uh, mine are already in squares. My brakes are too loud. So I'm just gonna cut one little square. This looks more like a wrapper. Okay, and then we're going to start folding a little. Okay, and once we like halfway fold it, we're going to put a few treats, okay? And then keep on folding. And then keep on adding treats when I keep on finishing folding, okay? Now, I'm going to do this to the end, just, just to, um, do this to the ends to, for, so for the treats not to fall out. And then you could take a piece of yarn and then just keep on wrapping it around. Like start from over here. Okay. Wrap, 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 wrap. Okay, and then just close it. Okay. And now we're going to tie a knot. And then it's going to look like this. And they could kind of rip the paper and play with the yarns and then get in and take them. Take the treats. For the last toy, you need some, um, you need a, a coffee filter and some treats. Okay? So I'm going to take some treats, and then since I just put the treat, we're going to kind of put a knot, okay? Actually, I'm going to go get some um, millets, because I think millets are better to put in here. So I got two pieces of millets. Okay, I'm also going to put the other seeds too. 
I just want like a bigger treat to be in this. So we're just gonna put in the millet. Okay. And I'm just going to put this exactly in the middle. And then we're gonna have and then we're just going to close here. Now you could tie it. Uh, or just take some yarn and wrap it around, but I'm just gonna leave it like this Okay, just make like a little ball out of it Okay, actually You see I had two leftovers You could just take one and put it around that Like a little cute toy And just put actually two it. Leave it Makes two little toys Okay like that. Little, two little toys. And then we could do one just like that, like another coffee filter. Put all the trees that are left in there. Okay. And then for this one, we could use yarn. The last one we needed into a ball. For this one, you could use yarn. You could also make it into a ball, like you see this part instead of putting those things on you could just wrap it around like that and take a piece of yarn and just close it okay so we're gonna just wrap it around oh no it came out it's kind of hard because it's gonna keep on slipping out but eventually you're gonna get there you know what, I actually did something like this and I feel like it's even better because you could hang it in a cage but I'm going to make like one more knot around it to just make everything more in like a little ball. Like this. Okay. You could put it in different shapes. Like, what I mean by different shapes is that you could, um... Like, not just make it into a circle. You could make it in different shapes, like something like a circle, but maybe it has a piece, like, sticking out. So you could just put a yarn on it and do it, okay? So I'm gonna put one more on. You can hang this in the cage, but I won't. I'm just gonna use it as little foot toys. And then you got those, okay? I am going to put this in their cage. Okay, put this and this in their cage. These two are gonna go in the cage. These ones I'm just gonna use as little foot toys. Okay, and then that's it. You could make free toys with household items and you don't have to spend so much money on toys that birds are going to shred and there's gonna be nothing left of it. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. So, bye. So, this is how it looks like. And I put their foot, uh, foot toys down there and all the rest up here. And I made a few more toys with the rest of the toilet paper I had. The purple ones I had. And it turned really cool. Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how you could make your toys with the... Uh, 